Do not make a decision when you are tired or hungry. Hey fam, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Toby Achidume. Here on this channel, we'll talk about topics, tips and tricks that will help us grow fearlessly to the best versions of ourselves. If you're interested in videos like that, please click the subscribe button so you get notified when we have new videos up. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as you've enjoyed the other ones. Today, we're going to be talking about bad decisions and how to avoid taking bad decisions. So a lot of people, when you ask them, what do they regret? Always go with the safe answer and say they do not have any regrets. And why that is cool and nice to say, it gives I'm taking responsibility for my action vibes. It also gives I'm okay with whatever outcome comes with my decision. In actual sense, it's not always true because we would just, if you sit down and just think for two minutes, maybe it's too long, you would remember something that you did that you shouldn't have done because you regret doing it. So today I'm going to share with you a few things that you can do that would help you to avoid making bad decisions or taking bad decisions. Does this mean that there will be no more bad decisions taken? Mm, maybe not, but it is going to reduce how much you take bad decisions. So let's get into today's video and see the first point. Point number one, pray about everything. You need to pray about every single thing. The Bible says pray about everything and pray without ceasing. James chapter one verse five says, if you ask God for wisdom, it will give it to you. So many times we assume that God is interested in only the things that seem major, the things that seem grand, the things that seem so important, and the things that seem very minute, he's not interested in it. He's invested in every single area of your life. God sees you as his investment. And when somebody is invested in something, you make sure you check every single thing about that thing or that person that you're invested in. And that is how God sees us. He sees us as his investment. So he cares about every single thing that you do, including what you want to eat for breakfast today. Yes. So he wants us to carry him along with everything that we want to do, the decisions that we want to make. He wants to change jobs. He wants to know about it. He wants to marry somebody. He wants to know about it. You want to get a new car. He wants to know about it. You want to start a new business. He wants to know about every single thing that is important to you. And so when you need to make a decision, it helps you to pray about it, talk to God about it. Because sometimes when you're even doing the whole thinking or the thinking process of this decision, some things seem very irrelevant when you're talking to it about somebody. Guess what? God doesn't care. He just wants you to talk to him. So when you talk to him about these things, it helps you to see it in a clearer and a better light. Now, when you talk to God about the decisions that you want to make, he does not have to answer you with a loud, bound, um, resounding voice or noise that you would hear as you're walking on the street of a foreign land and he calls your name. Toby, this is what I want you to do. He may not do that. He may, but he also may not do that. But one thing that is for sure is that he's going to give you a prompt in your heart that directs you that this is what he wants you to do. And then it is best for you to follow that prompt. Number two, take some time to think through this decision that you want to make. Don't be in a hurry. Anytime you make a decision in a haste, it almost always is a bad decision that you have made. You need to take time to think through the decisions that you want to make. Think through the steps, think through the actions, think through the options that you have. You also want to think through the biases that you have. So as humans, there are things that would... Um, maneuver our decisions so it could be because that was the first option that you had as the options giving and that's why you want to follow that as the decision you want to take it could be you have seen somebody doing it maybe a social media influencer has talked so much about it you now feel like this is the right thing for you to do it could also be you doing it because you feel like what will other people say or what will other people think about you you need to think through this decision that you're about to take with these biases in mind. So know yourself and know the biases that you have when it comes to the decisions that you want to take and then do not let it guide your decision making. So give yourself time to think properly on what you want to do. Do not make it in a haste and do not make it because of what people will see. Number three, you need to weigh your options. So I like to have this and I know that you don't like to write or you don't like pen and paper but sometimes you need pen and paper. I like to make a list of the things that comes with the decision I want to make. So what are the pros and what are the cons? And how is this? Sometimes the pros list is longer than the cons list, but it's still a bad decision. So I'm not saying that when you make this list, the list is going to help you, but it 
helps you to weigh your options. You're able to see clearly the options that you have and see how each option serves best for what you're about to do or the decision that you're about to take. So with this, you're able to do an analysis of the different options. So what comes with these decisions? Why, say for example, you're about to start your master's program and you want to, you have three different options of places you want to go to. You want to look at the options properly. You want to think through the cons and the pros of going to whichever one. And you want to see what you get from it and what you don't get from these options. Your weighing these things helps you to see and do a proper analysis of what comes with each decision when you decide to take it or each option. I mean, when you decide to follow that option and make your decision based on this thing. So you need to be able to weigh your options, which again boils down to not being in a hurry to make your decision. Number four, seek advice. I know that you're a lone ranger. And it is cool and fine to be a lone ranger sometimes, but sometimes you need to seek advice from people that has walked the path before you. Yes. Seeking advice or seek, yeah, seeking advice means that you're speaking to people that you know would be able to advise you. People that you know would be able to give you constructive advice, not looking at how you feel or what you think or what you've already decided that you're going to do. People that will tell you no when you need to hear no and tell you yes when you don't feel like hearing yes. It also helps you because when you take into consideration people's opinions, you're able to see things from a different light than you have because two people will not have the same opinion about one thing. You're able to take these opinions and again, weigh the options. So ask your mentors, ask your bosses, ask your superiors, ask your parents, your spiritual leaders, what they think about the decision that you're about to make before you make the decision. Number five, do not make a decision when you're tired or hungry. When you're tired and you're trying to make a decision, this is called decision fatigue. So it means that your brain has been on overdrive. You have been thinking through so many things that you want to do. What are the things that you need to do and all of that. At that point, you're just tired and you just want to take something and be done with it. At that period, you should not be taking any decisions because it means that you're tired. What you should be doing is taking some time to rest. So I'm going to read my notes and explain what decision fatigue or ego depletion is. And it refers to the idea that after making a lot of decisions, your ability to make even more decisions is drastically reduced. So at that point, you begin to experience brain fog. Your ideas are not forming clearly anymore. There are so many jumps and there are just so many lapses. You find yourself drifting away and just daydreaming about things that are not important. At that point, you are wondering what you're going to have for dinner in the afternoon. So when you are at that point, it's not the best time for you to make a decision. You need to rest. You need to take your time away from that decision that you're about to make and just rest. Now I'm tempted to add, follow your guts to this list of advice that I am sharing with you. But sometimes your gut is not correct. It's not right. Your gut is just pleasing you. And I'm sure that you have heard this so many times that even sometimes your gut cannot hold milk or even you got So how is it supposed to help you to live? There are times where you cannot follow your gut. There are times where you have to think through properly and you need to pray with the decisions that you're about to make. And there are times where your gut actually tells you, you just need to be discerning to know when to follow your gut or not. And so in that light, I'm going to say when you're about to make decisions that are important to you, it is probably best for you to not make this decision with your heart, but with your head because your heart is emotional. Your heart wants to do the things that will make you happy and feel like you're on top of the world and all of that, but your head is logical. Your head is telling you, giving you reasons and helping you to reason, right? So sometimes making decisions with your heart is not the best. You need to make decisions with your head. So these are five and half things that you should do that would help you to make better decisions and avoid regret as you live life. I hope that it helps you and helps you to make better decisions. Please do not forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments in the comment section. If there are any other advices that you'd like to share with us on how to take better decisions, please let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to share with your friends and family. I will see you guys in the next one. Till next time. Bye.